Evening folks, we're back out. We've come out for a few hours after work. I'm gonna head off to the woodlands. I'm gonna go and uh, chill, set the hammocks up, get a fire going to make a brew. I'm just walking through this bit here. They've been uh, clearing this affair all bit since we were last here. As you can probably hear, the road just over that way. As I say, we're just heading out, get our mix set up, get a brew, and then just enjoy, enjoy even the night. Yeah, beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Sound of the birds sound absolutely magical. It's really nice to hear. The weather's starting to pick up, which is a bonus. Hi. Right, we'll carry on on our journey. Right, as I said, we're out for an hour or two, well, a couple of hours. I'm out with the boys, I'm out with Ian. Hello, guys. And I'm out with Peter. Hello, Ian. We're just having a mooch about, checking out what wild edibles are popping up. There's quite a few. A bit of Jack by the Edge. Lots of others. Primroses and cow slips starting to come through that. I'm looking at a few that aren't so edible, like cuckoo pinned. Here we go. Lords and ladies. It's absolutely mint. It being light, the night's getting lighter. We're loving that. I'll bring you back along once we get to the uh, Woodland, we haven't got too far to go on this one. Right, that's us. Heading off into the woods now. Can't be getting out for a little bit after work. Beats watching the telly. Head through here, and this is the little spot we like to use. We've got some uh, chunks of wood from where they've been doing work in the woodland. I'm going to create a V and have a fire in it. Just gives us somewhere to rest an old pot for making a brew. Now we're where we want to be now. Happy days. Thank you, Mr. Oh, some firewood. I think I've got that one. one.
There we go, we've got the fire going. Didn't do anything special, we just got a bit of cotton wool and a bit of Vaseline. Peter always carries a spare bit of Vaseline, don't you, Peter? Oh, yes. <laughs> got Ian there sorting out firewood. Let's see, we're just chilling, it's a beautiful night. Looks like it's going to be nice and clear. We'll probably stay out about 11 ish. Now well, that's us, we've got the fire going. The boys are just there chilling in the hammocks. Just have a little mooch around the woodland. So I've come out tonight, and my main reason for doing this video is I've just brought this camera. Um, so I'm just testing it out. Have a go, see what it's like for editing and what what whatnot. Oh yeah, just have a little mooch about. Spring's starting to be upon us now. The trees are all starting to come into leaf and into bud. Absolutely love this time of the year. Absolutely fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Well, I'll spin the camera on. Bluebells are starting to come through there on that bank side. A bit of wood. Anatomy. I'm sure, that's how we pronounce it. I can never pronounce that correct. Down there. Now the sun's going in, the flowers have closed up. Some birch polypore on that tree down there. There we go, look. As I say, the purpose of this video is predominantly just to get used to using this camera. With some elm starting to come into leaf. Bark off the elm's fantastic for containers, that type of thing, making little matchboxes, knife sheaths, Now we were supposed to be in camping last weekend, but the woodland that we planned to go to was just way too boggy and we would have just made too much of an impact on the ground if we had of um, camped there. So we just gave it a miss on that one. I'm starting to lose the light now. I'm going to imagine it'll be somewhere around about 8 o'clock. There we go. The lads are just chilling in the hammocks. See the smoke off the fire? Let's have a zoom in.
Peter, put my firewood on. The camera's got a night vision mode on it, so I'm looking forward for giving that a shot when it gets dark. A big old tree. oak tree a shame about the plane flying by just uh, listen to the birds Went back over there where the lads are. Just have a walk through the trees. See how the camera acts with the light changing. All the winds and everything over the winter have brought lots and lots of the larch down, which is good for us. Excellent for getting the fire going. Yeah, it looks caddy, doesn't it? Of course it will. All been well. My view from a hammock. Just having a little bit of a chill before we get a brew on. Got Peter. Tending the fire, I think. Is that Peter tending the fire? Yes. It is. Ian's over there chilling in his hammock. Poor lad's had a busy day. He's having some scran because he's had like no to eat today. He's been too busy. Poor lad. Works hard, does our Ian. As you can see, we are starting to lose the light now. We haven't got much daylight left. 
but we don't care because he's sorting the brew out now and we've got that going happy days We've had a few owls hooting. Once it gets completely dark, we'll test out the night vision on the camera. Pan back around that fire. There we go. We've got an owl come visit us. Right there we go folks, Ooh, much where I'm going because it's uh, it is dark, just having a little mooch about, testing out the night vision on my camera, and I'm saying it is absolutely mint, loving it, so I'm not going to wander off too far because I can't see jack all at my feet, the fire there in the distance with the boys. But yeah, that is cracking. What I'll do, I'll spin it around. We'll have a little walk through the woods. And uh, so you can see the full potential of this camera. I'm over the moon with it. Absolutely over the moon. Right. We'll turn you around. There we go. The lads and the fire over there on the ground Check that out. Oh, the branch. Going to be a kind of good setting this on the camera. Back down the way. Point down my feet so I can see where I'm bloody going instead of watching the camera. That's not bad, that leg. Not bad at all. So you can just make out going through. And what I might do to make it even better, I might buy an external light, an infrared torch. Great bit of kit. Right, 
Right then, folks, that's us about to call it a night. We've uh, had a bit of a tidy round. We've put the fire out, got rid of the embers, covered the fire scar in leaf debris. Right there, folks, that's where the fire was, where I'm stood now. We'll put a torch on as well, just so we can show you that we've left no trace. We've got Peter over there. Peter over there, ready to say bye. See you later. We've got Ian over there. See you later. Blinders. <laughs> yeah, so that's us. Left no trace. As usual. As usual. Golden rule. Number one golden rule anyway. So we're about ready for the off. I'd like to thank Jimmy Lund Larson for the advice on this camera. It's spot on, mate. If you're not already, check out his channel. I'll put a link within the description. It's uh, Lundy's Wild Camp and, and Bushcraft. He's a great lad. Great channel. He's got a cracking setup where he's at. Fantastic shelter. So like I say, I'll put a link in the description. Just head over to his channel, give him a thumbs up, give him a subscribe. I'm sure you'll enjoy his channel. Brilliant. Me kit. I'll finish putting that lot away and we'll get away. Right folks, that's us off home now. And as I was saying, the purpose of this video basically was just to get out in the woods, chill for a few hours after work, get a fire going, have a brew, have a bit of a laugh, have a chat, and uh, predominantly Test out this video, this video, this uh, camera. Do a video. You'll see what it's like. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and please share. We'll take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>